I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing. Of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest nights You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God Oh yes, in all my life you have been faithful Oh, all my life you have been so, so goodness of God. Oh yes, and your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now, I give it sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. When rocks cry out to worship Whose glory taught the stars to shine Perhaps creation longs to have the words to say But this joy is mine With a thousand hallelujahs We magnify your name You alone deserve the glory The honor and the praise Lord Jesus This song is forever yours A thousand hallelujahs A thousand Would die for our redemption Whose resurrection mean our rise There isn't time enough to sing of all we've done But I have eternity to try song is forever yours a thousand hallelujahs and a thousand more praise 
to the Lord, to the Lamb, to the King of heaven, praise. For He rose, now He reigns, and we will sing forever, praise to the Is our God, and oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. 
is our God. How great is our God. And how great is our God. How great. And how great is our God. Mind 
always higher than mine. He'd reveal long to come. Take courage, my heart. Stay steadfast, my soul. He's in the waiting. He's in the waiting. Hold on to your hope as your triumph unfolds. He's never failing. He's never failing. Yes. 
sing it again. You never made, you never made a promise you couldn't keep. You don't lie. Promises are yes someday, love. Your promises are yes someday, love. You never made a promise you couldn't keep. You don't lie. Good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I welcome you to death for this virtual night of prayer. We thank the Lord for bringing us this far and blessing us for this Friday. Want to thank Him for the week that He has brought us this far up to this time that we are being able to log in to this virtual night of prayer and I welcome you all. Thank you for making it. Thank you for logging in and encourage us to inform of our friends, text them and tell them about this, this virtual night of prayer so that they're able to join in also and we fellowship with them because it's so amazing to be in the presence of the Lord. It's so beautiful to get to know more, more, more about God from each other. My name is Tukiweze Maliza. I'm the chairperson of Renzori Anglican Youth Missioners. And really thank the Lord for giving us this opportunity to minister throughout this week in the morning devotions. We thank him. And also thank the Lord for enabling us to also be able to lead in this virtual night of prayer. And I welcome each one of us here. I welcome you. Thank you for creating your time. Thank you for sparing your time to be in this in the presence of the Lord at this hour of the night. We bless the name of the Lord and we pray that as we are leading out this day, this night, may he be with us, may he guide us. Let's pray. Almighty Father, I want to thank you for this day. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify you, we magnify your name, Almighty Father. Thank you, God, for giving us this life, Heavenly Father. Many people have not been able to breathe today. Many people have lost their lives. Many people have not been able to even experience what you've experienced up to this time, Almighty Father. But we want to bless your name, Jesus, for enabling us to be in your presence at this time. Who are we to be among the chosen, Almighty Father? I mean, those ones who are still on their way to join us, Heavenly Father, we pray that God may you quicken their steps, Almighty Father. Those ones are finding challenges with maybe their networks. Maybe they are finding challenges with logging in, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, I pray that God may you create a way for them to be able to end to come in and log in so that we are able to listen to create fellowship together as a family to fellowship together as children who know you to fellowship together for as disciples who are made to make more disciples for you god we bless your name jesus i glorify your name god thank you for what you're doing in our lives Thank you for the ministry that you're doing in us, Almighty Father. Thank you, God, for putting up this day that each and every Friday, whether it's when I, when it, whether it's not physical or it is physical, Almighty Father, that you put this Friday set apart for for prayer, Almighty Father. We pray that God may you use us, Almighty Father. May you keep us alert to listen to your word, Almighty Father. We dedicate each one of us who has created their time. We dedicate each one of us here, Almighty Father. That God, Almighty Father, may you enable us to listen to your word, Almighty Father. That may, may, may it be able to yield fruits in our hearts, Almighty Father. To yield fruits in our lives, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, we dedicate all the ministers, Almighty Father, that you've used, Almighty Father, the ones that you put, set apart to go around this program, Almighty Father, the intercessors, our preacher, Almighty Father, our chaplain, the ministers, Almighty Father, our choir, the, the videography team, Almighty Father. Thank you, God, for making them to spare their time, Almighty Father, to be in your presence today, God. We glorify you, we magnify your name, God. At this time, Almighty Father, I want to pray 
I surrender our speak, our preacher today, Almighty Father, Reverend Banet, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, we pray that God, may you let your spirit lead him, Almighty Father, as leading your children, God. May you use him, Almighty Father. May you decrease so that you may increase, Almighty Father. May you be able to take over this place, Almighty Father. I know many of us are in the comfort of our rooms, Almighty Father. Yes, it may be difficult to concentrate, but God, Almighty Father, we pray that for spirit of alertness, that we shall not be able to miss it, any word that comes out of your as out of your out of your child, Almighty Father, we bless your name, Jesus. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you, God, Almighty Father. We thank you for our, our church, our church, Almighty Father. We thank you for all the events that have been happening, Almighty Father, even the concert that has just happened, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for enabling those the, your ministers to spare their time to practice tirelessly, Almighty Father, to see that that day is successful, Heavenly Father. And we pray that God, Almighty Father, may you be with our chapel, Almighty Father. May you do Dwell, oh my father, because you reside in this chapel. You reside in St. Francis, oh my father. May you reside in our hearts, oh my father. May you reside in our ministry, oh my father. May you reside in our, our in our salvation. May you reside in each and everything that we do, oh my father. Heavenly Father, we put this day, oh my father, we put this night in your hands. Heavenly Father, may place, Almighty Father. Be able to let your Holy Spirit dwell upon each one of us, God, wherever we are, Almighty Father, in the places where we reside from, God, Almighty Father, wherever that we are listening this from, Almighty Father, Heavenly Father, we pray that, God, may you let your Spirit be upon your children, Almighty Father, that they are able to meet, to be able to listen to your word and put it into practice, Almighty Father. We destroy every kind of every kind of dizziness, Almighty Father, that comes with, with being there, Almighty Father. Every kind of laziness that comes, Almighty Father, that's going to attack your children to leave this meeting, oh my father. Every kind of poor network, oh my father, that comes in, oh my father, we destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ, oh my father. We believe that everything is well because you're with us, God. We believe that everything is working on, is working on well, oh my father, because you've taken over this place. You've taken over this ministry. You've taken over the pulpit. You've taken over this, uh, this fellowship. You've taken over this prayer night, this prayer night, oh my father. We worship you and magnify your name, God. We worship you and thank you for each and everything. God, Heavenly Father, I want to pray for each one of us here, Almighty Father. God, we pray that, God, may you use us. May you use us, Almighty Father. May you use us, Almighty Father. May you enable us to listen to your word, to be able to listen to it and take heed of it, Almighty Father, to be able to dominate in our hearts. We bless your name, Jesus. We thank you. This is his name I prayed and believed. Amen. Thank you so much. Those who are still yet coming in, encourage your friends to join in. We are want we want many people to come in so that we can start. We bless the name of the Lord for enabling us to start this virtual night of prayer. At this juncture, I want to welcome Bridget Casemire to pray for that, to pray for the church. And let us pray with her, wherever that we have, let us surrender this to pray for our church. Our church needs us in each and everything. Our church needs us in the ministry. Our church needs us because the devil is targeting us. Praise the Lord. Bridget. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And good evening, everyone. My name is Casemir Bridget, and I'm going to be leading in the intercessions for, for, for the church. So let's go together in this song. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with goods that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, oh, bind us together with love. There is only one God, there is only one King, that is why we sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, oh, bind us together with love. Oh, 
Almighty God, we do come before you this evening. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life that you've given to us. Lord, I do thank you for this opportunity, Abba Father, to agree that you've given to us this evening, Lord, to collect as your children, Abba Father, in this virtual overnight, Almighty God. A few have joined in yet, Abba Father, King Glory. For those that are planning to log in, Abba Father, King Glory, may they log in, Lord, and we join in and praise you and glorify you as we worship you this evening. Almighty God, I do pray, Abba Father, King Glory, humbly, I do pray, surrendering the Church of Uganda into your hands, Abba Father, King Glory. Lord, I pray for all the churches, Abba Father, King of Glory, that are in Uganda, Abba Father, for all the churches that are in Africa, Lord, for all the churches that are across the world, Almighty God, Abba Father. We put them into your hands, Abba Father, King of Glory. We do request you to come and lead, Abba Father, King of Glory. We request you to come and take control, Abba Father, King of Glory. Many churches, Abba Father, worldwide are being turned into something else, Abba Father, King of Glory. Some are being turned, Abba Father, King of Glory, into places where the devil lies, Abba Father, King of Glory. A lot is done, Abba Father, that is ungodly in those churches. Lord, we request that you Come and take control, mighty God. Abba Father, King of Glory, I request that you come and reign in those churches, Abba Father. Let your will be done in them, Abba Father, King of Glory. A lot takes place, Abba Father, King of Glory, that does not please you, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, I request that you kindly grant us with that spirit, Abba Father, King of Glory. With that spirit of discernment, Abba Father, King of Glory, may we be, no, be, be able to know that this is a holy place, Abba Father, King of Glory, a place where we are supposed to go to worship you and to praise you, Abba Father, King of Glory. Guide us wherever we are in those churches, Abba Father, King of Glory. You alone should lead us, Abba Father, King of Glory, always to the right churches, Abba Father, King of Glory. Some churches, Abba Father, King of Glory, have been turned into places of demonic worshiping, Abba Father, King of Glory. May we not go astray, Abba Father. When you're guiding us, Abba Father, can glory and leading us to the church, to the right churches, Abba Father, can grant to the right places of worship, Almighty God, Abba Father. And God, Abba Father, I do pray for your clergy, Abba Father, can glory. Lord, I pray for the Archbishop, Abba Father, can glory. God, I pray for all the bishops, Abba Father, can glory. God, I pray for all the vicars, the curates, Abba Father, can glory, the chaplains, Abba Father, can glory, all the virgins, Abba Father. Lord, I put them unto your hands, O God, Abba Father. It is you that appointed them, Abba Father, can glory. I believe you are gonna, you are going to lead them, Abba Father, can glory through. Lord, I request that you stretch your hand upon their lives, Abba Father. You alone should guide them Abba Father. It is a lot taking place Abba Father King Glory. They may get tempted Abba Father King Glory along the way they get off track Abba Father. Lord I request that you come and use them Almighty God. You alone Abba Father King of Glory appointed them Abba Father King Glory. You anointed them Abba Father to go out and preach your gospel Lord Abba Father can you using them Abba Father King Glory. God I pray for your protection upon their lives Abba Father. Lord I pray for their families Almighty God Abba Father King Glory. Families do always have a great impact in our lives Abba Father King of Glory. May their families not make them depart from your service, Almighty God, Abba Father. Lord, they have got other responsibilities, Abba Father, King Glory, but Lord, I pray that you they always prioritize you, Abba Father, King Glory. May they always put you first, Abba Father, in whatever that they are doing, Almighty God. Lord, we pray for their families, Lord, we pray for their children, we pray for their wives, we pray for their husbands, Abba Father, King Glory. Can you using them, Abba Father? Can you guiding them? Can you providing for them, Abba Father, King Glory? Some of them, Abba Father, King of Glory, they only do preaching your gospel, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, I pray for your providence, Lord, Abba Father. Be with them, Abba Father. Stand with them financially, materially, Lord, and spiritually, O oh God. Come through for them wherever they cannot by themselves, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, you pray for the other leaders of the church, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, you pray for the organists, Abba Father, King of Glory. We put them unto your hands, Abba Father, King of Glory. Those instruments they play, Abba Father, King of Glory, they do a great role, Abba Father, King of Glory, in your service, Abba Father. King of Glory. Sometimes they find the churches are too big, Abba Father, King of Glory, but their instruments help in amplifying the voices, Abba Father. God, you pray for them, Abba Father. I also pray for their lives, oh God. Can you protecting them, oh Lord? Can you guiding them, Abba Father, King of Glory? For most organists, Abba Father, King of Glory, are fellow youth, Abba Father, King of Glory. We youth, Abba Father, King of Glory, we tend to normally be dri driven away, Abba Father, King of Glory, by earthly desires, Abba Father. God, you place them unto your hands, Abba Father. But I believe that when you touch them, Abba Father, that when you cover them up with your blood, there's nothing that will go in between them, Abba Father. There's nothing, Abba Father, King of Glory, that is formed against them, Abba Father. There's no weapon that shall be formed against them, Lord, that shall prosper, Lord. May they serve you faithfully in their in their service, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, we pray for the other leaders, Abba Father, King of Glory, the Sunday school leaders, Abba Father. Lord, we pray for 
the the heads of ladies of a father king of glory and each each and every lady of a father king of glory a church is made up of a father king of glory of different constituents of a father king of glory lord we pray for each of them of a father king of glory the different parties of a father king of glory the father's union of a father lord the mother's union of god of a father lord majorly the sunday school of a father for it is the future church of tomorrow god we pray for the children's church of a father king the children of our Father in the current world, Lord, are being haunted of our Father, King of Glory. People are sacrificing your children, O oh God. We request that you kindly come and cover them up with your blood, of our Father. Can you protect your children, Almighty God, of our Father? May you protect them, of our Father, King of Glory, from all the evil desires, of our Father. Men are looking, men and women, Lord, are looking for women to sacrifice so they can become rich, of our Father. Lord, let your blood cover your children up, of our Father, King of Glory. May nothing, of our Father, King of Glory, come near them, Lord. I pray, I pray and trust in your protection, of our Father, King of Glory. What I pray and trust in your blood, of our Father, that was shed by your son, Jesus Christ, at the cross, of our Father. May it cover the children, of our Father, King of Glory. Most of them are in school, of Abba Father, King of Glory, Lord, we pray for the providence of our Father, King of Glory. We pray, Abba Father, for the hustling parents who hustle, Abba Father, King of Glory, to get for them school fees, Abba Father. Lord, we pray for them, Abba Father, may you give them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Abba Father, King of Glory. Grant them, Abba Father, King of Glory, the spirit of understanding, Abba Father, says that what their teachers deliver to them, Abba Father, they may be able to master it and write it down at some point in life, Abba Father. And all God, Abba Father, King of Glory, I pray for the youth, Abba Father, King of Glory, in different churches, Abba Father, King of Glory. Lord, we request that you strengthen us, Abba Father, King of Glory. I request that you continue guiding us, Lord, and using us, Abba Father, for your purpose, Abba Father. May you continue enabling us, Abba Father, King of Glory, and appointing us and anointing us each and every day, Abba Father. May we be able to get that courage, Lord, to stand out and preach your gospel, Abba Father, King of Glory. May you send us, Abba Father, King of Glory, wherever you want us to go, Lord, so as we can preach your gospel, Abba Father. Lord, you alone say, Abba Father, that wherever one or two meet, Abba Father, King of Glory, shall always be a midst us, Abba Father. Lord, there are many different churches, Abba Father, King of Glory. Even when we are unable, Lord, to walk to a nearest church, Abba Father, let us pray, Lord, within our families. Let us pray, Lord, within our friends, Abba Father, King of Glory. May you give us, Abba Father, King of Glory, the right friends that will make churches, Abba Father, King of Glory, which are not only buildings, Lord, but churches where, where whenever we gather, Lord, we are able to praise you, to worship you, Abba Father. And Almighty God, Abba Father, King of Glory, I pray for your, for unity in your church, Abba Father, King of Glory. The church, Lord, is falling apart, Abba Father, King of Glory, due to disunity, Abba Father, King of Glory. Some churches, Abba Father, King of Glory, some leaders do not cooperate. Lord, we pray for cooperation in our churches, Abba Father. We pray for your peace, Lord. Send your peace. May you transcend the Lord, Abba Father, King of Glory, and lead all the churches, Abba Father. Continue you uniting us, Lord, wherever we try to scatter, to scatter and disunite, Lord, come and bind us together, Lord, Abba Father. Give us that love, Abba Father, King of Glory. Let your love bind us, Abba Father, King of Glory, and keep us in peace and unity, Almighty God, Abba Father. God, I pray, Abba Father, King of Glory, for our church, St. Francis Chapel, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, I put it into your hands, Abba Father. Lord, I put the chaplain, Abba Father, King of Glory, into your hands, Abba Father. Lord, our different reverends, Abba Father, King of Glory, I put Reverend Lydia in your hands, Abba Father, King of Glory. Lord, I put Reverend Bennett in your hands, Abba Father, King of Glory. Lord, I put all the other leaders, Abba Father, King of Glory, in your hands, Almighty God. You alone come and use them, Abba Father, for your service, O oh God. Lord, I pray that you continue guiding them, Abba Father, King of Glory. Lord, I pray for your protection upon their lives, Almighty God. Lord, I pray, Abba Father, King of Glory, that you continue providing for them, Abba Father. Lord, I pray, Abba Father, King of Glory, that you continue uplifting them and protecting them against each and everything, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, may you use them, Abba Father, King of Glory, for your service, Lord, Abba Father. We do appreciate, Abba Father, King of Glory, the work that they are doing at the moment, Abba Father. God, may you keep them in line, Almighty God, Abba Father. Can you using them, Abba Father, King of Glory? May they may you give them cooperation, Abba Father, King of Glory. Keep them in unity, Abba Father. Let your love be amid this them, Lord. We pray for their families, Lord, Abba Father. We do pray for their husbands, Abba Father. Lord, we pray for their wives, Abba Father, King of Glory. Come and be with them, Abba Father, King of Glory. Come and be with us, Abba Father, King of Glory, the students of the university, Abba Father, King of Glory. Lord, we pray that you continue using us, Abba Father, King of Glory. May we be able to know you, Abba Father, King of Glory, and always come to your worship, Abba Father. Father, always draw us near, Abba Father, King of Glory, to your church, Abba Father. Help us always to participate in the different 
prayers, Abba Father, King of Glory, and different groups and units in your church, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, we pray for all our mission groups, Abba Father. Lord, I pray for Raim, Abba Father, King of Glory, specifically. Lord, as Renzori and Gilkan Youth Mission, as Lord, we do need you, Abba Father, King of Glory. We do still have a small number, Abba Father, King of Glory, but Lord, I believe that in years to come, we shall stand out, Lord. We shall testify, Abba Father, King of Glory, and say we used to be a few, Lord, but now look at the hundreds that are here, Lord, Abba Father. And God, Abba Father, King of Glory, I cannot forget to pray for those that are coming in, the senior six leavers, Abba Father, King of Glory, that are applying, Abba Father, King of Glory. May they go through, Abba Father, King of Glory. And Lord, when they come to campus, Abba Father, King of Glory, may they lead, Abba Father, may they be led, Abba Father, King of Glory, to the right spiritual groups, Abba Father, King of Glory. God, we pray for all our care groups, Abba Father, King of Glory, in our church, St. Francis, Abba Father. Lord, we pray for all our cell groups in our church, St. Francis, Abba Father, King of Glory. We can request you to come and do with us, Abba Father. Lead us wherever we are, Abba Father, King of Glory. As you continue preaching your gospel and spreading your word, Abba Father, we request you to come and continue guiding us, Lord. Continue protecting us, Lord, and using us for your service. Thank you, Almighty God, Abba Father, King of Glory. Thank you for your for your protection, Abba Father, King of Glory. Thank you for this moment. Lord, I request that you come and be with us, Lord, in this evening night of prayer, Lord. Come and be with the preacher as, as he's going to feed us with your word, Abba Father. May you open our spiritual ears, Abba Father, King of Glory. May we be able, Abba Father, King of Glory, to listen to your word, Lord, to silence all the powers of the devil, Abba Father. Lord, we decrease, Abba Father, King of Glory, and increase in us, Lord. Come and use your preacher as your verse, Abba Father, as he delivers your word of our father we pray all this lord believing and trusting in the mighty name of jesus christ i do pray and believe amen amen praise the lord thank you so much sister bridget for praying for our church uh we bless the name of the lord for using you to pray for us, to pray for the church. And we believe that whatever that has been said, even whatever that has not been said, he has heard and he knows it better. At this time, I want to welcome Richard to pray for our nation, the whole nation. The nation really needs God. Praise the Lord, Richard. Richard, are they finding it difficult? Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. I think Richard is uh, not able to um, come right through. I hope I'm being heard very well. Then I could lead us in that prayer. Uh, Let us pray for the church. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Are you are you getting me? Yes. Okay. Let's humble ourselves and pray for the nation. In the whole um, of the world, thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, for the church of the 
province of, of, of the Church of Uganda. Thank you, my Lord and my King, for the house or for the Archbishop and for the house of bishops that he works with. Thank you, King of Glory, for all those that you have called to serve in various um, dioceses and various parishes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for indeed you came and you became a sacrifice for the church. We are truly sorry we are as a church. We have um, mishandled the resources. Not. We pray for the visitation of your Holy Spirit, my God, wherever they are. Heavenly King, I pray that you continue to convict us of sin and Father lead us into righteousness. Thank you for our dear chaplain, my God. We thank you that today she's celebrating her birthday. It is our prayer, my God and my King that you continue to anoint her and to anoint uh, her ministry at St. Francis Chapel Makere. Heavenly King, I pray for seasonal blessings and divine um, cover upon her life and upon her ministry. King of glory, I pray for her family. Thank you for her husband. Thank you for her children, my Lord. I pray, my master, that you equip her with, with knowledge, with wisdom, and with understanding, my master. We pray for divine favor from the heaven, my master, that you and only you will use her mightily and for the glory of your name for the time that she's here with us. I pray that she will mother many, that she will mentor many, that she will transform many under her ministry. Heavenly King will transform St. Francis Chapel we will transform Macquarie University. We will transform the nations in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my King. Father, thank you for the clergy that she serves with. We are truly so thankful. Thank you for Reverend Scovia, my Lord and my King. Thank you, Holy Heavenly Father, for Reverend Irene. Thank you for Reverend Fenny. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for Reverend Richard. Thank you for Reverend Musa. Thank you for Canon Alson Barfoot. I pray that Heavenly Father, you continue to use them, um, King of Glory, to, to, to establish your throne, your kingdom here at St. Francis, our God. Thank you for the Reverend Barnett that is even bringing us your word this evening. It is our prayer, Heavenly God, that you will use him for the season that he's here. Thank you for his such a blessing to this place, to the chapel, my master. I continue to be, to pray, my Lord, that you who called him to St. Francis, my Lord, will anoint him, that you will bless him, that you will keep him and use him for the glory of your name, my Lord and my King. Shall you, my God and my King, be with him? Shall you, O oh God, protect him? Shall you protect his family and his household, O oh God? I pray that this evening, as he brings forth your word, you will minister to us. You will speak to us through him, my God. That you will bring forth your word with clarity. That you will bring forth your word and that it will accomplish the purpose for which you are sending it, my God and my King. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for every staff member. Thank you, King of Glory, for every minister and every ministry. Thank you, oh God, for every um committee. Heavenly Father, right from the council to the marriage, Father's Union, Mother's Union. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful and we pray for the glory of the Lord, that it will be revealed and it will be seen, that St. Francis Chapel will be a model chapel, that St. Francis Chapel will be a typical example of godly transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Heavenly King, we worship you, for there is no one else like you. We are so thankful, and thank you, King of Glory, for the different uh, mission teams under St. Francis. Thank you in particular for Rhyme, 
So and for their um selfless efforts to 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 to, to King of Glory um leading us in morning glory in this uh, virtual night of prayer i pray for each one of them that has participated my god may you bless them. may you cause them to continue to hunger for your word to thirst for your presence my lord and even as we continue to seeking you i pray heavenly father that you will minister to us that you will minister to our needs that you will speak to us and that we will continue to experience your goodness and your mercy. We worship you, my God. May you fulfill your word that, uh, concerning the church of Christ. When you say that I will build my church, and not even the gates of hell shall prevail against it. It is our prayer, my God, that you will continue to build the church, that you continue, Heavenly Father, to, 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 to set it apart, want to come against every spirit of um, selfishness and self-proclamation, self-centered ministries in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we come against every false doctrine that wants to come and uh, our Father mislead people from the right teaching and the right gospel in the name of Jesus. Equip us, equip your children with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to discern and to distinguish what is right gospel and what is not the right gospel. And Father, we'll continue to worship you. We'll continue to adore you. We'll continue to exalt you. We'll continue to magnify your name. We worship you, my God and my King. We honor you and we glorify your name. For it is in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we believe and pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Vajra Apollo, for the uh, prayer, uh, praying for the church, and forgotten to celebrate the chaplain's birthday. Celebrate her today. Happy birthday to her. We bless the name of the Lord for the new age that the Lord has added unto her. I take this juncture. Richard has got had gotten some issues, but now he's now old. He can take us through prayer for the nation. Richard? Yes. I think now you can hear me. Oh Lord, we thank yes. you for the gift. Oh Lord, we thank you for the gift of life you have given us. We thank you for the love and mercy you have showed us, O oh God. As we hear here this evening, O oh Lord, we bless and glorify your name, O oh Lord because you have been there for us. Oh Lord, this week it has been rhyme which was leading morning devotions. Oh Lord, we thank you for everything you have done for us, oh Lord. We thank you for our church. We thank you for everything. Thank you for our nation. Oh Lord, I pray for our nation, our country, Uganda. Oh Lord, bless us with leaders of integrity. Oh Lord, bless us. We pray, oh Lord, give us wisdom and understanding. Give our leaders wisdom so that they gained us with your mass, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we pray for our president, your work of Tam seven. O oh Lord, guide him, give him good decisions so that he may lead us, O oh Lord. Father, we come to you because the people of this nation are everywhere, O oh Lord. We are here, O oh Lord. We are not here by accident, but Lord, we bless your name because you have been there for us. O oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the love, Master. We thank you for the land. We thank you for our environment. Oh, Lord, we bless and praise your name because you have been faithful. God, you have been bread. You have been there for us, oh, Lord. We bless we play, We bless your name, oh, Lord, because you are faithful. You are merciful, oh, Lord. We have not lacked. We have not. We have, we have given us provisions, oh, Lord. We have provided for us, for our country. There have not been fights. There have not been wars, O oh Lord, in our country. We bring our country before you, O oh Lord, because you are God, because you are everything which we need. O oh Lord, this evening, we pray that you give us mercy. You provide us with mercy, O oh Lord. Almighty God, help us to obey your command. Submit ourselves to our leaders and our government for your sake. Help us to 
to give honor and respect to our leaders, not just ones we like, but even those who consider unreasonable and unprincipled. Remind us that God, the government authorities that exist have been appointed by the Lord. And this is to resist our leaders, is to oppose what you have set in place. Help us to give us res to give respect to whom we respect is you, O oh Lord. Father, I depend on behalf of our nation. We have become people who are only invested in things that give us temporary pleasure, O oh Lord. We no longer fear you, O oh Lord. I ask you to forgive us. Purify our country, Uganda, with our oh Lord, with your blood, Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Turn our hearts away from the different idols that we have created as a nation. Our individuals, O oh Lord, help us to walk in ways and that honor your holy name, O oh Lord. Give us leaders that will lead us towards your word, O oh Lord. So my be bad things, so many bad things are happening with us, O oh Lord. They're happening through our leaders, O oh Lord, which we may not know, but you know, you God, you see them. O oh Lord, protect us from all kinds of bad things, O oh Lord. So many bad things are happening around us, O oh Lord. But we may not be knowing, but you God, you know. Oh, Heavenly Father, turn our hearts towards you, Lord. Help us to live peacefully and quiet lives, O oh Lord. Let our leaders advocate for peace and love instead of the words, O oh Lord. May the words that come from their mouths be the words that edify the nation, O oh Lord. May we find peace within our boundaries. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we pray for this country. We pray for everyone in this country. O oh Lord, you are the builder of all things. May our leaders work together harmoniously, O oh Lord, not get just distracted, O oh Lord. Help our leaders, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, not to be divided, but to be committed to working cooperatively together, O oh Lord. Give us our give our leaders, O oh Lord, give them wisdom so that they rule us effectively, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. Help our leaders to be supportive for our nation, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we, we come before you this evening. O oh Lord, we pray for everyone. We pray for our leader. We pray for our nation. We pray for the neighbors. We pray for neighboring countries, O oh Lord. We also pray for the collective health of our nation, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we pray for this evening. We pray we are living in times where people do not have love for one another. Most people have chosen to put their selfishness interests above the interests of their nation. Oh Lord, uproot these people from government position and replace them with people who us, who, who, oh Lord, who, who go by your word. Appoint the people who will encourage us to love one another, oh Lord. Let your unconditional love overflow in our hearts that we may also power in each and everyone, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I bring Everyone, His Excellency, your Captain Seven, O oh Lord, and other leaders, leaders of Anglican churches, leaders of every kind, O oh Lord, into a place, O oh Lord. May they find mercy and grace before you as they look for solutions to different problems that are affecting our nation, O oh Lord. May the President find the right advisors that will guide him with, with the Council, O oh Lord. Expose and remove wrong people around these leaders, O oh Lord. We bring everyone, every kind of leader. May all their demonic inspired counsel be exposed and destroyed. In Jesus' name, I pray, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, this evening, let us pray against threats, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, you are the high God. We pray against all threats from within our nation, O oh Lord, from outside borders, other countries that try to threaten us, that, that want us to obey the, by their words, by their actions, O oh Lord, we, we pray against those, all those countries, O oh Lord, because you are the God, you are the, we pray for these plans of evil to come 
nothing, O oh Lord. We come against all plots within our country, against our, our president, all other leaders, O oh Lord, against our people. Nothing shall face us, O oh Lord. But you, Lord, will know you are everything. Because without you, we are not there. Without you, we cannot afford. Without you, we cannot move forward. But with you, prosperity and everything will come and good things will come to us, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we, we pray for, against all diseases. We pray all those diseases that would, like a corona, O oh Lord. We pray it should not come back and the other days, O oh Lord. We pray for every citizen of this country, O oh Lord. Guide them through their footsteps. Guide them in every corner, O oh Lord. I pray all these who are named Jesus Christ, they have prayed. Amen. Hello? Thank you so much, Richard, for the prayer for our nation. Uh, this time, and to give this opportunity to Vaja Apollo, in case he's around, to welcome our preacher, since the chaplain is not yet in, our preacher. Thank you so much, Mama. And uh, once again, it's a great privilege to have, have uh, all of us on board. And my role is very simple. Will come my brother, my senior, and uh, my pastor. And so, those of us who come, let's join our hands and we will come our own uh, uh, pastor, Barnett, to minister and to speak to us. You're welcome, uh, Reverend Barnett. Thank you very much, my brother, for that welcome. I thank God so much for allowing us to commune together. And thank you to those who are leading us. Uh, some of us uh, are still here in church because we, there is some, some other concert that is going on. But we thank God for those who are already on the call, and we bless the name of the Lord. And um, as we continue, I want to invite us to pray. And as we pray, God will indeed speak to us what he wants us to know this night. Father, we thank you and we praise your holy name. Thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you, King of Kings, King of Glory. Because where you are, all things are possible. Thank you, Father Lord Almighty, for your children who are already on the call. Lord God, I pray that you will be with all of us. You speak, dear Lord, so that we can understand that King of Kings, King of Glory, where you are, we can manage anything. And Father Lord, I pray that in case there is someone who is yearning to know you more, Father Lord, they will hear, and King of Kings understand that they are united in you. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you are hearing me, if you are listening clearly, you can type an amen in the chat so that I can know that uh, I am speaking to people who are hearing what I'm saying because uh, network sometimes can be a challenge online. And uh, thank you, Marisa, uh, for, for that typing of amen. Amen, amen. Thank you. Friends, tonight we are discussing, we are talking about united in a Christ. It is our topic, united in Christ. And as we share about united in Christ, we are reading from Romans, Romans chapter 6, 
starting from verses 5. But I will be going even in the verses uh, that, that are below 5. So let me begin with verses 1, and I read for us. Chapter 6 of Romans, uh, it says, Well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died on sin to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Oh, have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in one in baptism, we joined in we joined him in his death, for we died and we are buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We now know, no, we know that our old sinful self we are crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once and broke the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you should consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and live to God through Christ Jesus. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you were dead, but now you have a new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer live under the requirement of the law. Instead, you live and the freedom of God's grace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, friends. We thank God for his evening. We thank God for tonight. We thank God for his promise. We thank God because we are united with him. We are with him. We know that he is above each and every one. And that who is above is the one who is with us. And so this tonight, I want us to understand much more what it means to be united with Jesus, to be united with Christ. That is uh, the message I want us to, to take on. Jesus, brother Paul is telling us in this text, he unveils the profound truth of our union with Christ in his death, resurrection, which leads to new life. And that new life is empowered by the resurrection of God. And so, when we check from verses 5 and 6, friends, we shall find ourselves that we were crucified and united with Christ. He says, since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to the new life. And so, friends, being crucified with Christ means when he died, when he died, us who believe in him, we also died with him. 
I mean, last Sunday, Bishop Ponesmus was preaching and uh, he was telling us the sign is, <laughs> or, or the sign is um, of a person who is still living, mostly in sin. What is dying here is sin, friends. And uh, he was trying to show us some of the signs uh, that uh, if you still have the signal uh, of sin, if you still see it and you feel appetite, then which means you're still alive. Your feelings for sin are still alive. That is uh, what he was trying to, to tell us. So I am telling you that the fact that he died for us also us who believe in him, he did not only pay the penalty of sins, but he also broke the power of sin. And him breaking the power of sin showed that also our sin had to die. It had to die completely. And our sinful nature was crucified as well. You crucify it, and then after crucifying it, it dies. And when it dies, you now stand. Let me tell you, the day you received Jesus, if you were a fornicator, I want to say to you this evening that fornication was put to death. I want to tell you that if you were a drunkard, drunkardness was put to death. If you were a liar, lies were put to death. If you were a fighter, fighting was put to death. If you were a thief, stealing was put to death. And very many other things, very, very many other things, I'm telling you. They had to die. They had to die because Jesus Christ So, sin should no longer control you. Sin should no longer be so good. Sin should no longer be, you know, the best. It was removed. There are some people actually that sin was removed. There are some of you who used to be removed. It was removed, not improved at all. There are some who think that now they are in Christ, they, are in, they find themselves with no change. No, Jesus is telling us, Paul is telling us, that you must just take the life of Christ. Praise the living God. It is my prayer that um, I, someone is saying my volume and uh, I want to be sure someone is saying, talking about my volume and uh, I want to be sure that I am clear. Praise the Lord. If I'm clear, you can type an amen so that I can continue or I look for the right network the right press for the network. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. So what I'm trying to say is when you die to sin, your former is dead. Your former self is dead. And when your former self is dead, you now become new because of Christ's resurrection. We become one after death after being crucified with him, we become one, one with him, because we are dead with him, and now we are crucified, or rather we are resurrecting with him, and so that means we are one with him. And when I'm talking about we, I am talking about very all the Christians who profess and and say that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. I want to tell you, friends, that 
When you receive Jesus, you are connected to a larger family. You are connected to a bigger family, and that bigger family becomes your family. And the owner or the supreme head is Jesus Christ. He is the one who helps you to move from, you know, to know that you who comes from wherever, from America, and another person who comes from the UK, and another person who comes from Kampara, another person who comes from Kaviramaido, another one from Isinjiro, you are one in Christ. And you are one, Christ being the umbrella and all of you being under him. And friends, let me tell you that the union of Christ, us being in him, is connected, connects us from his death, burial, and resurrection. I don't want you to forget that. I want you to keep remembering that because of his death, burial, and resurrection is why I can meet Apollo, who comes from Isinjiro, and we become one. Because we are one in Christ. We share one identity, and that identity is Jesus Christ. And so, let me tell you, me and you, the fact that we are following Jesus, actually our spiritual status changes. It changes completely from being called a muyaye, and now you become a born again, from being called a thief, and from after being called a thief, you now become the owner of things. After being called Mariah, you now get married. You be a married woman, a married man, and uh, you are stable. After being called the humanizer, they now call you a husband or someone's husband. You stabilize completely. There is a complete change that comes over you so long as you believe we in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, so long as you believe that now Jesus is new in you, is the one who is controlling you. And I want to tell you, friends, when you are crucified and united in Jesus Christ, actually you now get freedom from sin. You are free. You are free completely. Sin loses its power. That is why it is telling us in verses 6, sin loses its power. The fact that it loses its power, you now start losing even the appetite of sin. If you were an adulterous man or woman, you now start losing appetite of adultery. If you were a thief, you now start losing appetite of, of stealing. You see the people's property and you feel they are not yours because your eyes are open. You now see, you now see very well. You see someone's daughter and you completely relate and say, yes, this is someone's daughter, but not my wife. I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, after receiving Jesus Christ, sin loses power because you are dead and you resurrect. So in the new life that you have, friends, I want to tell you that you cannot afford to commit sin alive. You cannot see it. Actually now, sin becomes like an allergy. When you see it, you run. When you see it, you run. In my life, I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. And again, I am uh, lactose intolerant. I don't take milk as well, any milk product. But let me tell you, when I see someone serving meat, I cannot get appetite for it. I cannot say, oh my God, this meat is sweet. If I can test, I can't. Because I do not eat it. And I know that this is not my thing. And so why should I raise my, my, you know, my, my, my appetite on something I do not eat? When I find you cooking it, I will not run to say, please give me some. No, I can't. So that, that is how, when you are in Christ, that is how sin loses its power. 
You now start seeing things as if you, st- you see something and say, that is not mine. You see people doing it and say, I cannot join them. For those of you who know Christ, I know that you believe and understand that actually that is exactly how it is. I used to drink alcohol, but I want to tell you that now I will find you drinking and it will not be none of my business. It will don't it will not take me at all. I want to tell you, I used to club and do all sorts of things as a youth, but now I will pass by this campara and find a disco moving and hitting so high putting on all those sorts of songs, new and old, but I will still continue to where I am going. My heart will not go there because sin lost its power. That is why I no longer have appetite for it. That is why I still move. When you were maybe a fornicator, I want to tell you that girls will move around you and they will even be half naked or half dressed, but you will not have appetite to sleep with them because sin died within you. Praise the living God. I know someone here is telling me, but you have a body, but you have what? I want to tell you, friends, sin will no longer take control of you. And then again, after crucifying ourselves and uniting with Christ, as we see in verses 5 and 6, there is newness of life. Our life becomes new. Our life changes completely. Our life completely becomes new. Let me tell you that the world will see and wonder. The world will see you and they will not understand because the behaviors will change. Actually, even they will see the friends change. They will see the places you have been going in change. They will see a new person and they ask themselves, what happened to this chap? They will see you and start questioning what really happened. What is the problem? Because they will not get the real thing that happened to you. Someone who did not know you will now see and see a completely changed fellow and he will wonder. I like the testimony of recent of a gentleman who was giving a testimony, how he used to take marijuana. And when he reached here, he meets a friend and the friend tries to take him, you know, back to what he was doing. But unfortunately, the, the, the friend tells him that, by the way, he received Jesus. And by the way, let me tell you, just saying it is not enough. But afterwards, the, the friend found him preaching the word of God. And he was like, am are my eyes seeing well? Am I seeing clearly? Is this really you? Are you the one who is doing this? Are you the one? People will ask that question. Are you the one? Because they will wonder. They will ask what happened. What happened? I remember when I received Jesus Christ, I was in, in my senior three. I was entering senior three. And when I reached that school, this boy saw me changed. I had stopped taking alcohol. And uh, at their home, I remember before, we used to ask ourselves, I was in the day school, where is alcohol? What is happening in your home? Because I was studying in a village school. And so there was the local brew in different families, you know. They would be, you know, there. And uh, they would, we would leave school and go to drink Okuvumba. We would go there to drink waraj, to drink, you know, to care for them. And then we drink. So this gentleman saw me and he, he, he thought I'm going to go with them. I did not go. And so when he came, they, when they came back, they asked you, man, what's the problem? I told them I received Jesus Christ as my personal and savior. And they were like, no, that can't happen. After they gave me some days and I remember singing for them, for them a song. That song was on hit at that time called Vakashasha. 
kuna kuna juni gwebona bakashasha i told them you are now feeling pain because i received jesus and i want to tell you i told them i am committed to continue until i die and i want to tell you i remember even also after receiving jesus christ my head teacher wondering which kind of bonnet is this because i got saved in holiday <laughs> and i when i went back my head teacher was wondering what about what is what is this i'm seeing because they they called those who received jesus and uh, i went in front and he was shocked and the and actually the system changed all myself changed and i chose to move with jesus see new things when you receive jesus even your animals will see a new person i want to tell you when you receive jesus even if even your friends will see you new when you receive jesus i want to tell you that your classmates will understand they will know that there is someone that you are believing in who is about of all so friends through faith in christ we are not only forgiven of our sins but we also united with him in his death and as i said our identity with christ is it changes completely the old sinful nature goes and the power of sin is broken praise the living god i want us to pray wherever you are and pray such that god will break the power of sin that is sitting within you that is controlling you that is taking you on i want you to pray wherever you are and tell god about that sin that has been that you are struggling with and tell jesus about it inform him you usually have to repent every now and then you have been repenting of the sin but that sin is not going it is not leaving you right now i call upon you to pray such that god will break the power of sin you may be here and you are struggling with the sin of fornication you think think it has gone but again it comes back jesus is here to break that power because we when you receive him you are new and sin should no longer take control of you sometimes you fail sometimes we fail friends i want to call upon you to pray you are here you are struggling with masturbation you are struggling with different kind of sins you are struggling with a lot of things there is a lot of chaos within you you and you want Jesus to touch you you want him to break it you want it to lose power you want it to be toothless you want that sin not to tangle you anymore you want it not to come close at you anymore pray and tell God tonight that you want to be set free completely you decide to crucify that sin with Jesus you decide to crucify it and bring it to God so that it is buried and then you receive select you yourself when it is when it is gone you will resurrect and you become new you become new in Christ Jesus and everyone will say indeed there is a change in this person's life so pray and tell God about it pray wherever you are friends wherever you are seated wherever you are pray and tell God to forgive you to forgive you of that that is struggling with to forgive you you have struggled with it. it and Jesus is here to tell you that he can change you friends let me tell you this he is telling us Paul is telling us that now he is telling us that when then should we keep sinning so that the grace so should we keep sinning that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace of course not since we have died to sin how can we continue to live in it friends there is something you are struggling with sometimes you feel that even other brethren are struggling in the same way sometimes you feel like you have already given in and you cannot move any further sometimes you feel that actually this is my sin no one knows it 
because you do it outside just there and you know that no one knows it you believe so and friends tonight i want you to tell god about it because he's telling us that we cannot continue sinning so that his wonderful grace can continue to be on us of course not since we have died to sin how can we continue to live in it he says, oh, have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ, Jesus in baptism, we were joined with him in death. Friends, Paul is not telling the non-believers. He's telling us the believers. He's telling us the believers. Friends, let me tell you, I think I was telling uh, a certain fellowship here that uh, Sometimes we, 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 we tend to just to do a migration instead of salvation. You find yourself when you are just doing a migration. You used it for Niket before you received Jesus. And now after receiving Jesus, you still take fornication. You know, every person in the fellowship that you belong to, you see them and you feel they should be your wives, everyone. And uh, at the end of the day, you want to fornicate with them, and some have refused it, and some has actually accepted. You are there. You just migrated. It is just a migration from where you were to now where you are. You just say you died to sin, but sin is still under control, still controlling you. You are under bondage. You used to be a raya where you were. And now you are the most dryer, actually, even in fellowship. You are a rumamonga. You are taking things for granted. Friends, let me tell you, it is possible for you to just do a migration. Migration will just be changing of location, but you'll be the same person. But you will be actually having the same things. I was telling them, when you are a clergy and you are transferred, and uh, most of these house churches that have, uh, you know, vicarages, you will just lift everything you have and take it to the new vicarage. And when you take them to the new vicarage, when the old parishioners come and visit you, I want to tell you that they will find the same chairs, same cushions, unless maybe if you bought new things. But it will be the same design, same you, same thing, same jazz. Friends, it is possible for you to think that you have received Jesus, but at the back of your mind, you know it was just a migration. Friends, it is possible. And you are here. You are struggling with it. You are struggling with it. It used to lead you. And now it is still taking lead. And now it is still taking you on. And every day you wonder what to do. Every day you struggle with it. This evening I want to tell you that as we unite ourselves to Jesus, we cannot go when we are thinking that grace will continue to forgive you, that you will continue to forgive you, so let's let us sin, let us sin. No. Dear friends, it is a call for us to have a complete change, a complete change for us to repent for us in order to move on. Because for we died and joined, rather we died and we are buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also may live new lives. Friends, we are united with Jesus. Hallelujah. And again, let me remind you, let me tell you, that when you are united with Jesus, in unity with Jesus Christ, there is a new life. A new life in Christ. A new life in Jesus. When you read from verses 6 to 10, we see a new life in Christ. Verses six, rather, yes, verses six tells us. We know, I had read verse six, so let me read verse seven. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, 
we know we will also live with him. We are sure of, the, of, the, of this because Christ was raised, was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has power. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once and broke the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. Friends, I want to tell you that when you are with Jesus, you are new. You have a new life. You are alive. You are alive in him. You are no longer dead. You are no longer, you know, there's the old you. There is a new you. That is why I told you, you find yourself with, a new, fri with new friends. You find yourself with new names. You find yourself with new behaviors. You find yourself with a new faith. Because now you have faith in Jesus. That is why everything will come. But at the end of the day, it will not manage you. Because you are with Jesus. If we are still together, I request someone to type an amen. We are having faith in Jesus. You have a new faith. And that faith will make you, will be a testament that you are alive in Christ Jesus. Friends, when we are united and united in Christ, calls for us to be alive in him, to be alive in him. You share the victory of Jesus Christ. Your identity changes. People say that that person who is now saved, they used to say that that rumamonga, they used to say that, that that liar. They used to say whenever they wanted to, you know, mention you, maybe in class, they would say, eh, that guy who steals, that thief. But now the fact that you are in Christ, there is a change. And now they say that boy who is born again. First, there are times when you be actually in a bus and you sit in a bus, and the person you are sitting with immediately recognizes you as someone who is born again. That is the life I am talking about. Someone recognizes even before you speak. Someone sees and immediately says, oh, this person must be alive in Jesus. Because the way you discern is not the way other people discern. Because the way you take things is not the same way other people take them. Because the way you argue is not the same way other people argue. Because the way you eat is not the same way other people do it. Because the way you talk in public is not the same. So you are having, you are alive in him. You have a life like that. You are alive in God. After everything you see, you start asking what would, what will, you know, uh, God think about me? What would Jesus do? So you are alive. You actually live in a manner that reflects Jesus. You actually make sure that people see Jesus who is in you. And actually, let me tell you again that you have freedom from sin. You are alive. In that there is a unity that is put on you. People will say, they will come and say, A, B, C, D, 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 this. And the public will say, you must be lying. He can't be the one. He can't do it. You must be lying. Friends, let me tell you, they will say, you must be lying. Because sin will no longer control you. I just read verses 11. So you should also consider yourselves to be dead to the power, to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. You are alive. You are alive, friends. You are no longer dead. You are alive because you resurrected. You are alive. 
because you are now free, you are alive, and there is freedom from sin. It no longer controls you. That is why you are alive. Verses 12, do not let sin control the way you live. You are alive. And so, friend, the fact that you are alive, let sin not control you. Do not give in to the sinful desires. They will come. They will be there. They will overshadow you. But don't give in. Don't give in. I told you, you lose appetite. If you know that there is a certain kind of sin that has been taking you, you pray such that the appetite of that sin will die. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God. For you were dead, but now you have a new life. Hallelujah. If we are physically together, we would have sung to ten You have a new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer, I mean, friends, sin is no longer guiding you. You are now guided in the new life. You are now a new creation. You are now free. You are now set free. You are now, you know, uh, a, a person of Jesus Christ. So sin can no longer be your deity. And friends, again, we have a new identity. We have And that new identity we read from Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter five, chapter five, uh, verses seventeen. Second Corinthians chapter five, um, verses seventeen. It says, "This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old is gone, and a new life." has begun. Praise the living God. The old is gone and a new life has begun. Your identity changes completely. You are now, say, you are now called a child of God. You are no longer defined by your past. Friends, sometimes our past can come to torture us. You be there and you remember they tell you you are going to share and your past comes and you start saying, but am I the one really? Am I worthy? Am I worthy of doing this? Your past comes to haunt you. Your past comes to actually check over you, to shake, shake you, to see if you are still standing. Your past comes, you know, to, to, to ask you if you are strong. Your past comes in. If you, you have weakness and your past, you, 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 you know, uh, you, you challenge the desire, you know, for, for fornication. The fact that you are check. They tell you to testify and you'll be like, but I cannot talk about these things. They are so terrible. My brothers and sisters, I want to remind you that the new has come. You are new. It no, the title of, a, of, of, that, of, of that scene is no longer your title. It no longer defines you. You are a child of God. Praise the living God. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. That is why you stand very firm and confess that you believe in that Jesus Christ. That is why you stand and confess, knowing that really there is nothing that can hinder you from accepting and moving with Jesus Christ. That is why you stand and know that you are in power. Praise the living God. Let me tell you that when we are united in Christ, we have a new identity. We have a new identity. 
we clearly know that Jesus is our cornerstone. We clearly know that he is, you know, the one who lives in us. And again, friends, as we enter into the time of prayer, when we are united with Christ, we have fellowship with him. We have fellowship in him. We have fellowship in Christ. I told you that uh, every believer, every believer elsewhere becomes your brother, becomes your sister. You find a Muganda being now a brother to a Muchiga. You find a Muchiga being a brother to a Mucholi, not just by marriage, not just by class, being a classmate, but because Jesus Christ is the one who is within you. And that we read, let me read for you Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians uh, chapter 4, and uh, I will read starting from verse 4. For there is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious, glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all in all and living through all. Friends, let me tell you, we are all and uh, one Father. So we, that is why I'm saying that we have fellowship in him. That is why you be confident to share with someone actually who you are not born with. That is why you be confident to share with someone who is not your wife and you share details of your life, of your salvation journey. That is why you be confident because you have fellowship. That is why you tell them to pray for you and you are sure that they will pray. That is why they will tell you that we are standing with you and you are sure that they are standing with you. Friends, we are united in Jesus. And when we are united in Jesus, we have fellowship in him. Praise the living God. So if you are one who says you are united with Christ, but you are not with other people, I want to tell you that the road you are taking I am scared it may not be one Lord. It may not be really the, the, the actual road that you are supposed to take because we are from one God. One baptism, one Jesus, one God, one everything. Praise the Lord. Again, in Ephesians chapter 2, uh, verses 19. So now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens with we are citizens are wrong with all God's holy people. You are members of God's family. Together we are his house, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself. Verses 21, we are carefree, joined together in him becoming a holy temple for the Lord. Through him, you Gentiles are also being made part of the dwelling where God lives by his spirit. Friends, Jesus, Paul is trying to tell us that we are the same people. So there is nothing like one is a Jew and another one is a Gentile. There is nothing like one is land and another one is less land. There is nothing like one is brown and another one is dark. There is nothing like one, you know, speaks in this kind of accent and the other one speaks with the other accent. Friends, when we are in Christ, we are united and we are together. And let me tell you that Jesus is our cornerstone. He is the one who we believe in who we know that when we touch, we shall not be shaken. We clearly know that he is with us. We clearly know that he's the one who will give us that grace to unite and to move higher. We, are clear, we, we clearly know that we are moving together in one accord because we are all attached to one cornerstone, who is Jesus Christ. 
we are actually sure and assurance assured of how we are going and how we are moving. Brothers and sisters, as we continue and as we enter into the moment of prayer, I want us to know that Jesus Christ wants us to be one. He wants us to be one, friends. Jesus wants us to be one. He wants us not to be divided. He wants us to think the same because we are in fellowship with him. Because that is why, you know, we call ourselves brethren. When you read in John, the gospel, chapter, chapter 17, when you start from verses 20, he says, I am praying not only to these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me and all be one, just as you know, know through their message. I pray that they will be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and all they be in us, so that the world will believe you sent me. That's that the world will believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such a perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Praise the living God. And he's praying that we can have a perfect unity. As we unite in him, as we say that we are with him, he is trying to pray that I am not only praying for disciples, because the disciples may be thought uh uh but he said even those who will believe this message through. Us who have accepted and believe that she is no longer takes control of us, and believe that we are dead and we resurrected him, and believe that we have been new life. Friends, let us be one and be one in your love one another. And that happens when we do love with humility. That happens when we choose, you know, to not started in my own ministry.
of improvement. Not improving, but you. We have to remove sin so that we can move on very well. Praise the living God. So that we can move on very well. I want to tell you, friends, that there is no band aid that will cure a sin. There is nothing like a medicine to cure a sin. But what can heal that sin of yours? What can heal those wounds is to make sure that we put that sin on the cross. Is to make sure that we all go on for the crucifixion. And then we be buried with Jesus. And then after we raise again in a new life. Friends, I want to tell you that we should not merely say that we are going to improve our life but we should completely change. We should completely change our lives. We should completely be new in our lives. We should completely know that we are not supposed to take sin and, and, and keep hiding it. It is you who knows it. And so the fact that you know it, I want you to put it to death. that we need to put to death all sin so that we can be united in Christ and in Christ alone. Father, we thank you. We honor your holy name this evening, O oh God. We pray, dear Lord, that you will be with us. We pray, King of kings, King of glory, that your mighty hand will come and, Father Lord, cover us. We pray, King of kings, King of glory, that we shall continue to see We can be one. Father, Lord, be with us. Be with us, Father. Be with us, King of Kings. I do not know if I am still on or whatever. I want to, to know. At least someone let, him, let someone let me know because I am seeing my microphone not moving and so I'm not so sure. Thank you very much, Apur. Father, we pray that you continue, King of Kings, to touch each and every person's life. King of Kings, King of Glory, as we see ourselves united in you, may you, Father Lord, speak. May you, King of Kings, touch every life here. King of Kings, may there be a complete change, not just the migration, but Lord God, salvation coming over to each and every one. I speak, O oh King of Kings, a new life. Father, there are some whose sins have been still haunting them. I pray, dear Lord, that they will see you. I pray, King of kings, King of glory, that they will see a new life in them, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Abba, Father, that salvation will come and overflow. King of kings, King of glory, touch each and everyone on this call. Father, Lord Almighty, and every person who is watching, O oh God, May you, Father, Lord Almighty, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Because, Lord God, you tell us that when we are united, we are new. And so, Lord God, we speak freedom in the lives of your children. Those who are haunted by their past, Lord God, I pray that you give them a power to break through in the name of Jesus. I pray, King of kings, King of glory, that they will see you and follow you, Abba, Father. I pray, Jesus, that you will touch each and every one of God. They have different kind of things that disorganize them. 
And Lord God Almighty, you tell us that, that we do, should not allow sin to control us. But sometimes it comes, oh Father, we repent, oh God. We repent, King of kings, of glory, where we find ourselves being controlled by the sinful desires. We repent, Abba Father, where we find ourselves, King of kings, King of glory, not dead to the power of sin. We repent, oh God. We repent, friends, wherever you, I request you to repent of that that you feel has been taking control of you. I want you to repent and tell God about it because he knows it already. Because he knows it. Repent and let him take it. Because we are no longer bound to it. Because we have to change. We are not supposed to give in to the temptation. We are not supposed, and actually we are supposed to run. But sometimes you have given in. Sometimes you have failed to control yourself. Sometimes you have failed to see that this is seen, so I should not take that route. Sometimes you have failed to make a decision to run. You feel that sin still haunts you. You find yourself still going in. You find yourself still going there. You find yourself still, you know, uh, jumping into what you used to do. You find yourself, uh, you know, even learning new sins. But tonight, Jesus is telling us, that we must put to death everything that we have. We cannot say that grace will continue to grow. We cannot say that grace will prevail. We cannot say that now let us keep in sin so that, we, so that grace can help us. No, we have to know that we died to sin, friends. You died to sin. And so the fact that you died to sin, it should not take control of you. Father, I pray for these your children. King of kings, may you hear their prayers. May you hear our prayers, God. May you hear our prayers, King of kings. May you unite us together. Friends, I want to pray for unity. I pray that God will unite us together. You are here, but there are some people you hate. You don't actually fellowship with them. You used to move together the journey of salvation. But now you feel that you are no longer together because there is a way you feel they don't measure to your standard. Yet Jesus is saying there is no Jew or Gentile. My brother and sister, I want you to pray and repent of that. Because we are one, and we are supposed to be one in fellowship. We are supposed to be one in whatever we do. We are supposed to be one. Jesus prayed that we can be one. We are supposed to be one so that people can know that indeed we believe in God. We are supposed to be one. And sometimes you have decided to chase other people away. You have decided to make sure that you put their shields so that they cannot come closer. Oh, Jesus, we pray that you touch each and every person on this call. You have lost it somewhere. You believe you are no longer moving on together. You believe that you are no longer putting people as a priority. You believe that you are no longer actually moving the way you used to move. You still know also that things are no longer the way they used to be. The fellowship used to go in. You feel you cannot fellowship with them because they talked about you. My brother and sister, I want to pray for you that we shall be one. That we shall be one. We break every power of entitlement where you feel that there are some things that are supposed to be done for you. And if they are not done, you are no longer together. Oh, my father, I pray that you touch this, your children in the name of Jesus. That unity will prevail. There are some who are struggling actually with their family families. Yes, in their families, they no longer speak together. There is a lot of disunity. They cannot talk. They cannot eat together. And right now, actually, they have not even put an effort even to make sure that their families are together. Instead, they say, we shall never talk. They
there is someone who you told that that you will never talk again that you will never talk again that let them take their own way and you also take your way jesus i pray that you touch this your children that lord god you bring unity that lord god you speak to them that salvation will come to those people who do not know you you have a family member who does not know jesus and you want them to know him so that you can be one you have a friend who you are together but they do not know god and you want them to know him oh father i pray that you touch this your children you hear their prayers of god as they pray for their friends and families that they can receive you king of kings king of glory it is our prayer that lord god everyone king of kings they will know you and after knowing you we shall continue to be one king of kings king of glory we pray dear lord that you touch each and everyone abba father you bring them together king of kings in one fellowship in one accord father lord almighty a son been led by pride Pride has been driving us. Father, we pray for your forgiveness, O oh God, because King of Kings, King of Glory, you tell us to love. You tell us to love and to have humility. So, Lord God, I pray that this your children will experience your love, will experience your touch, King of Kings, King of Glory, that they will experience, O oh God Almighty who you are king of kings and they will know that it's not about who they are but about whose they are but father king of kings king of glory that they will know you are the cornerstone father lord almighty that when we touch on you all things are possible in the name of jesus king of kings king of glory we thank you because you are here and we honor your presence thank you father thank you king of kings thank you dear lord because lord god you know us. Friends, I want to tell you, when you read Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1, he says, Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other. Be patient with each other making allowance for each other's fruits because of your love uh, make every effort to keep every to keep yourselves united in the spirit binding yourselves together with peace for there is one body one spirit Spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and one Father of all, who is over all in all and living through all. Friends, let me tell you, we are supposed to be one. That is the foundation of unity, that we are supposed to live a life that is worthy of our calling. And our calling is that we are supposed to live to move in humility. We are supposed to move in gentleness. We are supposed to be patient and we are supposed to be love one another so that we can be united together. He is saying that we should give allowance to each and every person's faults in love. There is someone who did something wrong to you, and you said you'll never forgive them. You said you'll never actually sit and listen to them. After some times it happens, just by the way, you may have forgotten, but I want you to remember there is someone you bracristed because and you were moving together in salvation my brother and sister i want to tell you this evening that jesus is calling you to that one love he is calling you that he is one and he is one lord we have one faith one baptism and one god and who is the father of all that person you said you never talked to he is the one who 
who may help you. And so forgiveness is a virtue. You need to forgive, my brother and sister. Forgive. And if you are struggling with forgiveness, I want you to get someone and pray for you. Uh, but at this point, I want you to pray and break that bondage and break that power of unforgiveness that is haunting you, that you cannot forgive your stepmother, yet you know that sin, that, that sin is the one driving her. Yes, you need to forgive. And as you forgive, because even in the Lord's prayer, God tells us, rather we pray and say that forgive me as we forgive those who sin against us, but for you, you do not want to forgive. My friend, I want to tell you, as we continue in prayer, ask for forgiveness, and you forgive that person, and you mention that person by name. Yes, something bad was done to you, but I want to tell you that we need to create an allowance for each other's faults in love and making every effort so that we can be united. There is a brethren who wanted to so stumble you, who disorganized you, and you feel you cannot move on. You feel you cannot be with them. My brother and sister, I pray that God will give you grace to forgive so that you can be united in Christ, so that you can be one. Yes, Father, I pray that you touch your children, King of kings, King of glory. You touch us, oh Lord God. Some of our family members, some were our close friends, and they did faults on us. And Lord God Almighty, we promised never to forgive them. But Lord, we pray that you give us a power. You give us, King of kings, King of glory, energy to forgive Give these people in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that you give us the grace. King of kings, forgive. Lord of lords, forgive. Lord of lords, forgive. We pray that you help us forgive. King of kings, king of glory, thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for you are with us and we honor you. Father, thank you. Thank you, king of kings, king of glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We honor your holy name. Be with us and let us remain yours, O oh God. We honor you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Over to you, the moderator. And if the mod... If the moderator has moved off, I request you a if you have some time to unmute and take us on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that whole session of um, sharing, for praying, leading us in prayer. I believe uh, it was season and uh, me or you know the one that is struggling with unforgiveness. I believe that prayer will not leave us. I believe God to deliver someone. He wants to set free and go see and it's free then they are free indeed and I want to take this opportunity to um, invite us once to um, go deep in prayer I see Marisa is uh, 
Oh, Marisa was going to communicate something. But maybe before she comes uh, on, I want us to pray. I want us to go before the Lord again, and we pray in response to um, the word, in response to the sharing. Because we are here to pray anyway. We are here to pray, and we are here to call upon the name of the Lord. We are here to pray to him. His word says, to where two or three are gathered, when they are here. Even on call, he's here. And um, we don't take that for granted. We don't take that for granted. So, should because you have been and you are still with us. Was this um, evening kings for teaching us this um, night how we need to be united with Christ, how we need to live a life like Christ did, how Christ should be our role model and our example. Father, we are so thankful that we want to bring our repentance to you. We ask glory that you will forgive us, that you will teach us how to forgive. We ask Holy Spirit of God that where we have defiled um, ourselves, you have mercy upon us, my Lord, where we have compromised our living, where we have neither been cold nor warm, we ask that you have mercy upon us, my Lord. This evening and this night, we call upon the heavens, Lord, that you will open the um, heavens and power your refreshing spirit upon us. We desire to hear you speak to us again and again and again. But Father God, we want to say thank you for using your servant, Reverend Barnett, Thank you, Heavenly King, for speaking to us who were on call, and even to those that will receive this um, recorded sermon uh, later on on our different uh, social media platforms. We want to thank you once again that you are using him in this season. I pray, my God and my King, that you that have uh, used him will continue to bless him. And we want to uh, pray and to agree in Jabez's prayer in Chronicles, Jabez prayed and said that, O oh Lord, that you may bless me and enlarge my territory. That is our prayer that we are making for a Reverend Barnett, my God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you may bless him, that you may enlarge his territory, because he has given out what he has. I pray for refreshment and refilling. Refill him, my God. Refresh him, King of glory. Reward and bless him, King of kings. It is my prayer, Heavenly Father, that even as he ministers to you and to your children, you will minister to his needs, O oh God. As he serves you, my God, at St. Francis Chapel, I pray that he will never lack anything, O oh God. As, uh, as the psalmist puts it, my Lord, that I have been young, I am now old, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Neither their children beg for bread. It is our prayer that as he has offered himself and given selflessly, Heavenly Father, you will not forsake him, and neither will you forsake his children. I pray that you will provide for his family. You will provide for his wife. You will provide for his children, my God and my King. That they will not lack anything good, my Lord. That they will lend and borrow to the nations, my God. That they will, King of glory, bring uh, glory to your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name that is above every other name. And Father God, we pray that this night, your word that has come clear to us, indeed we will accomplish the purpose for which you have sent it, my God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
You are the God of restoration. You are the God of, 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 of second and third and fourth and many more chances of God. So we pray that you give us another opportunity to seeking you, another opportunity to live, another opportunity for flesh beginning, my Lord, that even when, Heavenly Father, we have defiled ourselves, even when we have lost it at some point, even when we have judged and grumbled, we pray for another chance to walk with our heads high, to walk when we are forgiven of the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, my Lord and my life, that you would include new boundaries around our lives, my God. We cannot flit with sin any longer. Heavenly Father, we pray that where we have been um, taking life for granted, where we have been taking your grace for granted, you have mercy upon us. Father, thank you for you are restoring us. And so we ask that you'll teach us how to say no again to things which could harm ourselves, my Lord, to things which could harm our testimonies, my Master and my God. Father, if our if it is our actions that have um, wounded others, we pray that you show us where and to whom we need to ask forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name. Father, we pray that you teach us how to, King of glory, to amend, uh, to, to, to amend things that have run out of our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us surround ourselves with positive um, encouragers, my Lord, with positive company, who will hold us accountable, my God, who will speak the truth in your love in the name of Jesus. Truly, Lord God, we pray that them will melt away in the name of Jesus, that we shall be healed in the name of Jesus Christ, that when we confess our sins to you, that when we confess our sins to others, my God, that when we ask for their help, we will continue to melt every shame that wants to keep us under the bondage and the captivity of, of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we understand that our repentance won't eliminate the consequences of our sin. But we understand that our repentance will draw us closer to you. And so that is our prayer this evening, my God, that you will draw us closer to you, that you will draw us closer to yourself, my God, that you will draw us closer to your throne room, my God, that you will draw us closer, my God, to where you want us to be. Heavenly Father, this evening we come before you. We ask that you carry us through our spiritual journeys, my Lord. We ask, my God, that you will teach us to hold on to, on to you. That you will teach us how to focus on Christ and him crucified. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are aware, my God, that you don't hold our sins to our account. Father, you remember them no more. And so it is because of that, your grace, that we are able to say, yes, we have a compassion, God. We have a good, good Father. We have a forgiving God. We have a God that never leaves us, that never sleeps nor slumbers. In the name of Jesus Christ, you had King of glory gives us an assurance that as far as the east is from the west, so is your love towards us, my God. And so we are so confident in that love, my God. We are so confident that you bless our sins as far as the east is from the west. King of glory. And knowing that humbles us, my God, it fills us with amazement and gratitude, my God, that no consequence could ever be as painful as knowing how our sin hurt you, how our sin made you suffer, that you suffered for us, my God, out of unconditional love, that you were crucified, my God, crucified to death, that we may have life 
and have it in it in its abundance. Father, we pray that Lord God Almighty, you press grace next to our regrets, my God, that you give us hope for a new future. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are so thankful, our God, that sin does not disqualify us, oh God, that sin does not stop us from approaching your throne of grace, that sin has not separated us from you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you because instead of sin separating us from you, like a runner who has fallen, king of glory, but who gets up again, we too, when we are willing to start again and finish the rest, you have said before us, you enable us to do that. And so with your restoration, Lord, maybe we can be able to help us. We pray that by your grace, that by your restoration, you give us the grace, my Lord, to help Help others to find their way back to you again. King of glory, as ministers that you have called by your name, I pray for your divine grace that we will be able to reach out to many, to help them to find their way back to you, to help them get their restoration. Father, we pray that we will not give our enemies the victory, that we will not give our enemy the chance of a father's triumph over us, King of glory to, 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 to this um, courage us, to make us king of glory, to make sin seem as though it is not, to make us doubt the truth that is in your word. It is our prayer this evening, my God, that heavenly father, with your help, you will allow your spirit to give us a clean heart, my God. Heart that long after you, one that seeks you, one that wants to live for you all the days of our lives, my God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your sweet forgiveness, for your promised restoration. We are so thankful, my God. We are so thankful, King of glory. We are so thankful because you are great. We are so thankful because you never leave us alone. And this evening, we say we are tired of sin. We are tired of sin struggling in our lives, my God. We, are, we come to acknowledge that where we have felt so distant from you, Lord, you will draw us close at you. Where we have felt so distant from you, my God, you will draw us closer back to yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, I want to commit each of these, your children, on call. And those, perhaps, who are not on call by God, but are your children. I pray for each one of them, individually, my God. Everyone that feels so distant from you, refill them up, my God, with your spirit. Draw them closer to you, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for forgiveness, O oh God. We pray for restoration, O oh God. We pray for sanctification, King of Kings. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we will listen to you, that we will hear you speak, my God. Heavenly Father, we pray that we will get the truth that is contained in your word, where we have exchanged your truth, my God, for temptations, where we have exchanged your truth for deceit. Oh, God, we pray that where we have been laid away from you, you will have mercy upon us this evening, oh, God, that we, Lord God, we pray that indeed you set us free. Set our minds free. Set our, our thoughts free. Where our thoughts have been held captive, we pray that you set them free, that you'll deliver us, my God, that you teach us to confess, oh God. I pray, my master, my God, that you help us to grow totally out of, of reverence for Christ, my God. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, King of Kings. And friends, I want to encourage us this evening, under this time, to come before the Lord in repentance. Repent of all that you think would, would deter you, would stop you from a, a, a approaching the throne of God. Come, bring your repentance on behalf of the loved ones. Bring your repentance on behalf of your family. Yes, Lord, your children are confessing of their sins. Your children are desperately in need of you. It is my prayer, my God, that you will meet each one of them. 
according to heaven riches and glory, that you will meet each of them, my God, according to their study plans. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will do to, for us things that glorify your name, things that are King of glory authentic, things King of glory that we desire to see you do in our lives. We worship you, oh God. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are in need of you, Heavenly Father. We are in need, you King of Kings. Friends, desire, as we continue in prayer, I want us to go before the Lord again and make uh, present our requests to him. Make our petitions and make them known to him. We need you, our God. We need you, Lord God Almighty. We need you this evening. We need you tonight, my God. We need you through the course of, our, of, 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 of this coming week. We need you as a university. We need you as a chapel, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you will speak to us, my Lord, that you will anoint us, O God, that you will open doors, my master. Heavenly King, some of your children are believing in you for, for, for breakthroughs. Others are believing in you for jobs, my God. I pray, Abba Father, that you who never sleeps nor slumbers will come right through for each of those that are on call, that are believing in you for an opportunity, for an open door, for a divine breakthrough, for a divine encounter, for a divine exchange. Oh God, your favor in form of jobs, your favor in form of promotions, your favor in form of upkeep, your favor in form of, of, of tuition, oh God. I speak provision upon you your children from the heavens, my God. I speak open doors, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. For when the heavens are full, heavenly Father, the power, power your refreshing spirit upon us, my God. Power your refreshing spirit upon your church, my God. Power your refreshing spirit, O oh Holy Spirit of God, that we will hear you speak to us, that we will hear you minister to our needs, that we will hear you fight our battles, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name. Father God, we thank you. Your children are here crying to you. Yes, we are crying to you. Lord, we are having different needs. Some heavenly father are believing in you for healing. Deliver somebody that is healing, my God. Some are even king of glory, are believing in you on behalf of, of their friends. Lord, minister and touch their friends. Minister and touch us in, in the name of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, I pray for the ministration of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. I pray for the ministration of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. Father, I pray that you loot out the darkness and the light, and, and you light up our lives, my God, with your holy presence, my God, that you help us understand, King of glory, where we need to improve. Help us to understand we are heavenly king. We have um, missed it. We have gone wrong. I pray, my Lord and my king. And Father, I pray that you will anoint us. Even when you choose to send us to Mukono, you will anoint us, my God, with that same anointing, the anointing of recognition, the anointing, king of glory, of doing selfless ministry, the anointing of giving our best, the anointing of giving 100%, my God. Heavenly Father, we are encouraged by scripture that wherever Joseph would go, there was an excellent spirit upon him. Excellent spirit upon Joseph, my God. It is the same prayer upon us who are on call that you will bestow your spirit, your, 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 your spirit upon us, oh God, that each one of them will experience divine and unique encounter. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, King of Kings. We honor you, Lord God. We call upon the heavens this evening. And we pray that, Lord, you will show us, each one of us here, how our destructive patterns first began, where it all first began for us, King of Glory, to get out of your Abraham's. Show us, my God. Show us, King of Glory. Oh, Father, we pray that this evening, you will minister to us. You will speak to us. You will anoint us. We worship you. We honor you, heavenly king. We glorify you, heaven, your holy name. 
Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every love I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Heavenly Father, we stand before you. We ask for the Spirit of God that as we continue to fellowship together on this virtual night of prayer, this online call, Lord, that I pray that you alone will guide us, that you make yourself in all of us, my God. To those who will be traveling to you, see you. King of glory, commit them into your hands. And Father, we pray that as you can, that, 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 that as you, your children are continue to seek your face, Lord, they will find you. You say, you tell us in your word that seek the Lord while he can still be found. And so that is why we are here. That is why your children are here, to seek your heaven, Father. And so teach us the way that we must go. Yes, Lord, teach us how we have to pursue that way, the way of righteousness, O oh God. For we are weak, O oh God. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let us ignore King of glory things of God. But lead us, my God, lead us, Heavenly Father, down to the wrong path. Lead us, my God, down to seeking your face. Father, we pray that only you will continue to um, teach us and to, to, to show us the right way that we may walk, walk in it. And Father, we pray that even... Um, Though you give us the grace to know your word, that even though we walk through the valley with the fire shadow of death, I will not I fear no evil. For the Lord and the staff, they comfort me. So, Lord, we thank you because indeed you comfort us. Lord, we thank you because indeed you never leave us alone. Lord, we thank you because indeed you have um, pulled us out of ignorance. Your word says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. I pray that, Lord God, your children will not perish, that your children will not lack knowledge, that your children will not lack understanding. So that is all that we need, my God, that we shall, Heavenly Father, hear from you, that we shall, Heavenly Father, receive what you are communicating to us. Let us find in you you our unity so that we may join together eternal life my god not to stray away from not to stray away from um, truth that is in your word in the name of jesus christ heavenly father we thank you king of glory we honor you we worship and glorify your name there is none like you god you are holy lord you are worthy you are great and there is no one else like you Take all the glory, take all the praise this evening, my Lord. We worship you. Oh, Lord, you are holy. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, you are great. Oh, you are the Lion of Judah. Yet you are the Lamb of God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Take all the glory and share it with no man. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we believe and pray. Amen and amen. Thanks so much. Yes, I'm going to tell something you're going to say. I want to thank take this opportunity to thank our preacher for today, Reverend Barnett. Thank you for the word it has reminded us that we are dead to sin but alive in Christ. That we are being united with Christ. Thank you so much. 
And I urge you us that all of us that have heard the word to check ourselves, to check on how we've been living our lives, on how we've been maybe taking the grace. You know, most of us do things thinking that the grace is sufficient. Like I'll go back and repent. But does it mean you have to do it every day that it has to be an excuse for you to continue living like a lukewarm? You're neither hot nor hot, no cold. So I urge us to check our lives and repent of our sins where we have been negotiating with that world, we have been negotiating with our friends, with our family members, we have been negotiating with our peers and leaving out our Christian values and what we believe in. And I want to thank the, take this opportunity to thank Vajra Polo for that for the prayer, the response of the message. I want to thank the Lord for using all of us here who are still around, those ones who have left us in, those who came around and maybe they got some challenges along the way. We pray that they have heard the word and they shall go back and work upon it and take actions upon the word. I take this opportunity to, to pray. And I request all of us to humble ourselves as we pray for our families, where we come from, because each one of us is a part of a family. You have somewhere you come from. You have somewhere where your roots belong. Yes, we are children of God, but there is someone who brought you in this world. Our physical parents, our, phys our relatives, our, our friends who have become like family, you know, each and every one. Let's take this opportunity to pray for them. Some of ourselves for prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for Today we bless you in Jesus. We thank you, God, enabling us to reach this time of the hour, Almighty Father, the evening hours of our virtual night of prayer, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for keeping us alive after this time, Almighty Father, for keeping us a lot, Almighty Father, as we heard from your servant, Almighty Father, teaching to telling, bring that word alive into our hearts, Almighty Father, reminding us, Almighty Father, that we are united with you, Almighty Father, that the faith that we have in you, Almighty Father, is not only for only forgiveness, O oh, my Father, but to be united in you, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, Jesus. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you for this ministry because each and every time that we fellowship, that we come together as a family to listen to your word, Almighty oh, Father, to pray, Almighty oh, Father, to intercede, Almighty oh, Father, to stand in the gap, oh, my Father. We pray that, God, we thank you, God, for enabling us, Almighty oh, Father, for using us, Almighty oh, Father, to be those people who are standing in, who are standing in that gap, oh my father, for our families. Heavenly Father, I take this opportunity to pray for our family, God, each one, each and every one, oh my father, the families where we come from, Heavenly Father. We pray for the, all the families in this country, oh my father. We want to take this opportunity, oh my father, to thank you for the gift of family that you've given us, God. We thank you for the gift of friends that have become family, oh my father. We thank you for the gift of people that we've met and they have become families, oh my father. We thank you, oh my father, for you protect our families, oh my father, our parents our relatives, our siblings, our nieces and nephews, our cousins, our uncles and aunties, Almighty Father. We want to thank you, God, for having protected them, God. We thank you, God, Almighty Father, for the revival in our families, God. Yes, some of us maybe come from families where you are the only one that has got as a that has given their life to Christ, whereby all the rest do not know God Almighty. Father, we Father, we pray that as we stand in the gap today, we pray for the spirit of, we pray for revival in our families, God. Heavenly Father, we shall not only walk this journey of salvation as we alone, Almighty Father, but we shall, we shall make sure that, we shall see that all our family members, Almighty Father, also come to experience your goodness, come to experience your salvation, Almighty Father, come to experience the goodness that is in serving you, the goodness that is in knowing you, the faith, the hope, the peace, the 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 joy that is in knowing your word, Almighty Father, in knowing who you are, Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, we pray for revival, Heavenly Father, for those ones who are yet struggling with a lot of addiction. 
Dormite Father, alcoholism, the sexual immorality. Family is God. Heavenly Father, we, sur- we surrender them unto you, God. We surrender those altars, God. Maybe some of us come from families where we have altars, where each, if each family member has an altar where they have their own God that they believe in, Almighty oh, Father. But Heavenly Father, we send fire upon all those altars, Almighty oh, Father. It shall be burnt in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty oh, Father. Maybe some of us come from families, Almighty oh, Father, where there is a lot of uniformity, there's a lot of familiarity, God. God. Heavenly Father, maybe some of us, we are the first people that have made, that have become successful, oh my Father. And those covenants are hold are catching up with us, God. Covenants of poverty, covenants of not being married, covenants of, of rejection. Rejection, covenants of adultery, covenants of lust, oh my father, covenants, oh my father, of stunted growth. Heavenly Father, we, we separate ourselves, oh my father, from all those covenants, oh my father. We destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ, oh my father. Heavenly Father, we pray that, oh my father, if some of us come from families, oh my father, where there is a lot of conflicts, there are a lot of wars each and every time, oh my father, each, everyone is fighting against the other for the issues of maybe land, maybe the issues of properties, oh my father. Oh my father we pray that God may you bring peace in those families, God. May you bring peace in our families, oh my father. They shall know there shall be no war. There shall only be harmony and love and peace in our families, God. Heavenly Father, we pray, oh my father, for our family members, God. Maybe we are struggling with a with a spirit of jealousy and envy, God. Heavenly Father, maybe some of us are not happy when our family members are success are succeeding, oh my father. Heavenly Father, we do. Destroy that spirit of selfishness, my Father. We shall wish well our family members. We shall wish well our friends. We shall wish well our, our relatives. We shall wish well everyone around us, oh, my Father. Fellowship members, oh, my Father. Because they are also part of our family, God. Heavenly Father, that we rebuke the spirit of envy, the jealousy, oh, my Father. That has been catching up with us, oh, my Father. As the, as the word has been as the word has been taught to us, oh, my Father. We should put death we should put sin to death, death, Almighty Father, that it shall not be able to germinate in us, Almighty Father. We should destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ, God. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, God. We pray that, God, may you come and intervene, God. May you come and intervene, Almighty Father. May you come and intervene in our families, God, Almighty Father. Some of us, we are standing in the gaps of our families. We have prayed for so long, and things are yet not happening. Revive in our families. We shall see you destroying whatever that has been set on my father in our family. Some of us have been maybe doing that, but we have that one thing that's been holding. You shall ever succeed in life. None of you shall ever reach reach a, a given level, God. I don't my father, we pray that you shall distinguish us. Among our among, among us, among our family breakthrough to us, God. Heavenly Father, that none of our family have fought. You have broken that, oh my Father. You've torn the curtain, oh my Father, has been holding our families back, backward, oh my Father. We bless your name, Jesus. We thank you, God. We pray, oh my Father, for families that have been having issues, oh my Father. Some people in families where there is no peace at all. Families there where there is a lot of hatred. Families where there is a lot of jealousy. Families where there is a lot of witchcraft. Families where there is a lot of domestic violence, oh mighty Father. Heavenly Father, we pray that God may you intervene in those families. May you bring peace and joy in those families. May you bring love, oh mighty Father, in those families, God. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, Jesus. We pray that God for everyone who comes from far families like that, oh my Father, we pray that God, our, our, our people in Christ, God, we pray that God, may you be with them, God. There's children who have grown up in families where they have encountered a lot of a lot of rejection, oh my Father, where they have encountered a lot of being punished, oh my Father. They have grown up hating. They have grown up with a lot of hatred and envy. They have grown up with a lot of hatred for the unforgiveness, God. Heavenly Father, we pray for forgiveness. We pray that God, may you give the grace for those children to forgive, oh mighty Father. 
forgive whatever person that it was God. Even some of us here may be having that situation. Maybe you grew up in a family where you are being tortured. Maybe you grew up in a family where you are being segregated. Maybe you grew up in a family where you felt like you are not loved and you began you swore never to forgive those people. Heavenly Father, we pray that God may you give us the grace to forgive each and every one, God. As you've forgiven us, oh my Father, we ought to forgive others. How can you forgive us when we cannot forgive others, oh my Father? Heavenly Father, we pray that God may you intervene, God. Intervene in our country. Intervene, oh my Father, in all the families in this world, oh my Father. Yes, we are looking at the news, oh my Father, there are families in all those countries where there are a lot of wars and people are losing their family members. People are seeing their beloved ones dying each and every day. Heavenly Father, we pray for peace upon those families. We pray that for peace upon those countries, oh my Right, Father, for they shall bring, they shall have peace, that their families, that family members can be able to live in harmony and love together, God, that there is joy and peace, Almighty Father. We thank you, Jesus, we bless your name, God, we glorify your name, Almighty Father. We destroy all the altars where our names have been mentioned, God. We destroy all the convenience of us have been struggling a lot, oh my father, but it all comes back to the families, the convenience that have been made by our four forefathers, God. But oh my father, we pray that since we are now in the covenant of the blood of Jesus, we pray that may your blood cleanse everything, oh my father. May your covenant be able to, to, to neutralize whatever convenience that were made before, mighty father. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. For we are the distinguished nations that you've set apart for the glory of your name, God. And the people shall see you working in our hearts. People shall see you working in our lives, oh my Father. And they shall glorify your name. And they shall come to walk in that same journey. They shall ask of who our God is. And we shall proudly say that we gave our lives to Christ, God. Heavenly Father, we pray for the grace, oh my Father. Some of us maybe come from families where we are afraid to say who we are. We are afraid to mention that we are Christians because maybe there are some things that we believe in our families. But oh my Father, we pray that today we shall get the courage to be able to proudly speak out how what we believe in, oh my Father. We shall not be Christians around school and go back home and not be Christians because we are afraid because of the beliefs, because of the things that we believe in our families, God. I don't mind, Father, we shall proudly stand out and tell them, my Father, we shall be able to defy all the odds for the glory of your name, God. We shall stand out for the for the for that word that we believe in, God, that farmed to Almighty Father. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship you. We magnify your name, God. We pray that, God, may you continue protecting our families. May you continue protecting all the families in this country. May you continue protecting all the families, oh my God, that are struggling in finances, in any other way, Almighty oh Father. We pray that, God, may you continue dwelling in those families. We pray that for all the families that are under your church, God. Yes, there are some church families where they are having a lot of challenges when some are the point of getting divorces. And yet they are the people who have known you, God. Heavenly Father, we pray may you intervene in such families, God. May you let your word prevail, Almighty Father, for you do not like divorce. Heavenly Father, we pray may you fight for your first families, God. May you bring peace and forgiveness in those families. We pray that, God, may you continue dwelling in our hearts, God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. This is the name of bread and bliss. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, so you're coming to a conclusion of our session. I, I request Innocent. Innocent to pray for our individual needs. Innocent. Uh, as we continue in the mood of prayer, uh, I would like you to join me in this song as we continue in the mood of prayer. Uh, you are holy, Father, you are holy, you are holy, Father, you are holy, you are holy, Lamb of God. You're seated at the right hand of the Father, you are holy. Father, you are holy, you are merciful, you are merciful. 
Father, you are merciful. You are merciful. Father, you are merciful. You are merciful, Lamb of God. Who is seated at the right hand of the Father, you are merciful. Father, you are merciful, you are forgiving, you are forgiving. Father, you are forgiving, you are forgiving. Father, you are forgiving. Bob God, Lamb of God, who is seated at the right hand of the Father, you are forgiving. Father, you are forgiving. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of today. Thank you for the gift of the wonderful message you have given to us. As we come before you, Lord God, King of Kings, we thank you for each and everything you've done in our lives. We thank you for the gift of good health. We thank you for the gift of provision, the gift of education. We thank you for each and everything you're doing into our lives, Lord God, King of Kings. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shama, Lord, King, Lord God, King of Kings, you deserve all the beautiful names. We can I not thank you, but Lord God, King of Kings, we surrender to our hearts and our lives, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and take your place into our lives. I surrender to you each and every one, Lord God, King of Kings. I surrender to you our needs. Lord God, we can, I cannot mention them and exhaust them, Lord. You're the one who knows each and everyone's needs, Lord, as we pray. Also, you, you can be praying for your needs. You can be presenting your needs towards the Lord. We present you our needs, Lord God, King of Kings. I surrender to you our academics, Lord God, King, as we are going to start our exams on 29th, Lord. Come and guide us. Come and Enable us to prepare, Lord God, King of Kings, and come and give us good health as we are yeah, during the examination periods, Lord. I surrender to you each and everyone struggling with the with tuition, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and provide, come and intervene, Lord. Come and manifest into your children's lives where there seems to be no way, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and pave way in our lives, Lord. Kings, I surrender to you, Lord, each and everyone struggling out there with. <clears throat> I yes, surrender to everyone struggling with jobless lives, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and open for them their ways. Come and pour your, your grace and merciful, precious blood of Jesus Christ onto their lives, Lord. I come before you this evening, Lord God, King of Kings, presenting to you, Lord, each and everyone, Lord, out there who are fighting, finding their work and, and interesting. Let it be academics, let it be in the occupation sector, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and open your way. Come and Bring your light and favor unto your children, Lord God, King of Kings. I surrender. I come before you this night, Lord God, King of Kings, surrendering unto you, each and everyone out there, Lord God, King of Kings, struggling in the prisons, innocent people struggling in the prisons. I surrender to you, them to you into your hands, Lord. Come and open your masses. I surrender to you all the street kids. I surrender to anyone finding their works difficult, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and bring your healing power unto the sick. Come and protect each and everyone struggling with different situations. Let it be addictions. Let it be spiritual, Lord God, King of Kings. Come and open each and everyone's way, Lord God, King of Kings. And, and this evening, I come before you, Lord God, King of Kings, as we are going to sleep. I surrender to you. I cancel all the evil dreams that may come our way come and bring us dreams of prosperity and success lord god king of kings i come before you i surrender to you saint francis church i surrender to you each and everyone who has attended this prayer meeting i surrender to you each and everyone's life lord god king of kings who are longing for you but they cannot find you lord god king of kings i surrender to you each and everyone suffering in different situations such as depression lord come and deliver these people lord I come before you, I, I surrender to you each and every works of our hands, Lord. Come and bless them. Come and manifest in each and everyone's life. I come before you, I surrender our university, I surrender our country, I surrender each and every family unto your hands, Lord. Come and answer each one's prayer. I'm cannot kind of able to, 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 to determine or to say each and everyone's need lord god king of kings but i understand and i believe lord you know them lord god king of kings with all this i pray calling upon your whole spirit of guidance spiritual growth 
and success and favor upon your children. Come, Lord God, King of Kings, destroy all the evil powers that might be planning for our lives. Come and come, let your name be glorified in our lives, Lord God, King of Kings. I pray all this believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Innocent. We thank the Lord for enabling us to reach this time by his grace, not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. We thank the Lord for everyone who is still on. Thank you so much for our preacher. Thank you so much for the word, for Baja Apollo, for being there. Thank you so much. And for the others, the moderators who have been around, the intercessors, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank the Lord for using you for this ministry, and we pray that this word has impacted something in your hearts. Even the people are that are going to listen to it, the people that are going to listen to this session, they shall be blessed because the Lord is really in this. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank you so much, and I I take this opportunity to welcome Vaja Apollo, our preacher, Vaja Apollo to conclude the night, the, the virgin night of prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Maliza. And uh, everyone who has uh, made it to the extended night of prayer today. Thank you, Ryan. And we continue to thank God that he has enabled us to uh, meet together Let's pray. Let's have a concluding prayer. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, you have been with us and you're still with us. And you, Heavenly Father, I want to commit innocent into your hands. May you meet him at his various points of needs and continue to fulfill them. Thank you for Maliza once again. Peter is a, a king of glory, has a visionary young girl. I commit her into your hands. And I pray that the King of Glory he will satisfy her needs uh, according to your heaven, the riches and glory. And once again, my God, I thank you for Reverend Barnett. I continue to pray for your supernatural anointing upon him, upon his ministry, upon his family. And Father, I pray that you meet his needs as well. Thank you for our elder, our mentor, Reverend John Atiku. Thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you for his ministry at St. Francis Chapel and beyond his ministry in Murago and elsewhere. Continue to anoint him, to bless him, and fulfill the desires of his heart and his family. Thank you for Casimir Bridget. I commit her into your able hands and ask for your um, visitation, Holy Spirit of God, upon her, upon her needs, upon her family. Thank you, Lord, for the lady of, of the valley. Lord, thank you for um, his consistence. For every um, virtual night of prayer, he is on call. And so, Lord, I pray that you will bless him. And Father, reward him. And Father, extend your able hand upon him and bless everything that he touches. Thank you for Tzime Richard. Thank you for Victor. And for all of us, I pray, King of glory, that even as we go to sleep, you will continue to watch over us and to bless us all together. Glory and honor and power and praise be to you, O oh God. You are worthy and you are great. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And, and amen. Friend, thanks so much for um, being on call again. I see Reverend Atiku is on call. I don't know if he's able maybe to unmute and give us the benediction. But in case he is not, then uh, I will say thank you once again and may God be to bless you. Thank you, Apra. Thank you, everyone uh, who is on. May you have a blessed night indeed. The audio and visual, thank you. Maliza, thank you.